So what you need to do is be, be very diligent about taking care of yourself, making, making sure that you're, you're eating properly, that you're, 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 you're dressed properly, appropriate for the weather, uh, that you, uh, you have all, all of the tools that you need to, to get through the day. Uh, prepare your mind. The, the whole process of going through law school, the process of, of going to class on a regular basis, is something that is not ordinary. It's, it's a very specific task. And what, one of the things that you, you, find, you may find it very useful to do is to prepare your mind. Just, 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 just imagine that you're in the classroom. Feel that you are participating. Understand you know, your environment and, and get a sense as, as, to, as to what this is all about. Keep in touch with real life. Don't let real life pass you by. You will, you will find that there will be uh, people in your life, there will be events in your life, there will be situations in your life that don't stop for law school. I mean, life continues to go forward, and some of these events are once-in-a-lifetime events. Some of these events are, are routine events. Uh, when you're going through this very difficult pro process of, of, going, of going to law school, and you're preparing for, for class on any given day, yes, it's very important to study, but you know, pay attention to what's going on in the outside world. It's very helpful to read a newspaper. Uh, so that you're, you're, under, you're understanding what, what's, what's going on in, in the world. Local newspaper is, is very important. And, you know, if you can read the uh, national newspaper, like the New York Times or Washington Post or whatever, uh, that's, that's very important as well because it helps you keep a sense of why you are in law school. It gives you a perspective of, of, the, of the larger world outside of where you are. And one of the things you will find very interesting is that you will be reading about world events and even local events, national events, and you'll, you'll be thinking as a lawyer because that's part of what this process is. You'll be preparing for class on a given day, and each day you'll be thinking like a lawyer. You're training yourself how to think like a lawyer, and you will find it is very helpful to read a newspaper because you'll be putting yourself in the position of the President of the United States or a senator or a congressperson or the secretary of state analyzing events, analyzing fact patterns, making decisions about how we're going to run this world. And you will understand that this is all part of the process. And you look at a case like Erie, Erie, Railroad, versus, Erie Railroad and Company versus Tompkins. The Erie case is, 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 is a very important case. It, it has some, some, some essentially, fun, some fundamental, um, uh, fundamentally important uh, uh, material in it. It's one of, the, one of the foremost cases of law school. And when you're reading this case, you're, you're, you're looking at the case and you're, you're seeing that, that this, there's this fact pattern where Tompkins is walking parallel to the train tracks. and. And he's he's in the, the state of Pennsylvania, and he's he's hit by something on a, by from a passing train. And you're sitting, you're, you're you're preparing for class the next day. And you're, you're saying to yourself, well, is the professor going to ask very much about these facts, or is he going to talk a lot about? Or is he going to ask questions about the holding of this case? Now, this case is a, a very important case because it, it it did a couple of things. It 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 eliminated what was previously considered to be federal general law. And it also t talks about the application of state law by federal courts that are hearing state law matters. And, and that was very important. And, and when, you're, when, you're, when you're reading a case like Erie, and you, you're going, you're, the night before, you're, you're looking at the case, you're reading this case, and it's, it's a very detailed case. And then you come across a very profound portion of the of the decision, and it says this: except in matters governed by the federal constitution or by acts of Congress, the law to be applied in any case is the law of the state, and whether the law of the state shall be declared by its legislature in a statute or by its highest court in a decision in a decision is not a matter of federal concern. There is no 
federal general common law. Congress has no power to declare substantive rules of common law applicable in a state, whether they be local in their nature or general, be they commercial law or part of the law of torts, and no clause in the Constitution purports to confer such a power upon the federal courts. You're reading that paragraph, and you say to yourself, gee, you know, that sounds really important. That sounds very profound. And in any given case, any situation, you're looking for that material the night before you attend class. You're looking for these profound statements of the law, such as we have here in Erie, Erie v. Tompkins. And you say to yourself, okay, now this, this sounds like the nub of, of what we're talking about here. You look at, at, at the, uh, the area of law, and you, you're, talk, you're in civil procedure, and you're talking about applica application of state law. Okay, here you have it. So go through the process of reading the cases, Look in the case for those profound articulations of law. Understand them. Understand the process. And that's one of the most important things for you to do in preparing for class.